Thank you for that. Thank you for that protection, Deputy Speaker. The, the, um, because uh, I do know that education is the great enabler uh, in our society. It's, in fact, it's the antithesis of those, uh, you know, snobs who peddle the know your place sort of line. Because yeah, education right. lets you move through society by being given greater opportunity. And I, I don't just say that as sort of poor white trash from the bush raised by a single mum. I'm actually going to back it up with some, um, a quote from some author called Andrew Lee's book, uh, <laughs> Battlers and Billionaires, a great book. And he quotes some Harvard academics that say uh, that we should, we should think of inequality as a race between technology and education. In eras when technological advances outpace schooling attainment, the gap between rich and poor widens. But in times when the, quality, the quantity and quality of education increases, so too does equality. Um, so he gives examples. Uh, this very uh, skilled author called Andrew Lee. He says someone who completes 12 years of high school is nearly 20 per cent more likely to have a job than someone who drops out in year nine. While a bachelor's degree boosts earnings by around 50 per cent, uh, even a diploma boosts earnings by 20 per cent. Education gives people opportunities in life. We saw through that whole Gonski process and all the research uh, that that is the case. And it's interesting when you look at the electorates, uh, electorates like mine, where schools are using this Gonski money wisely, incredibly wisely, uh, with, with school boards and, and principals and parents coming together to say what will be the greatest good from this money. And when, I, I know that uh, in, 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 uh, in Morton, if that in the next few years alone the Turnbull government will cut $12 million from schools in my electorate of Morton. Yeah. But if you contrast that, and you know, I'm from country Queensland, I'm from the, from the, grew up in the electorate of Maranoa, if someone like Maranoa uh, would actually lose $33 million, or well, the member for Hinkler who was at the, the, the dispatch box before uh, would lose $23 million, the member for Mali would lose $33 million. Why is this of, of relevance for the National Party, Deputy Speaker? Because the National Party seats benefited most from Gonski. It was an investment in Bush, an investment in the Bush and the opportunities that flow from that. Now, why would a Labor Party invest in the Bush, you might hear? Well, because the Labor Party believes in doing something for the national interests. That's what the Labor Party believes in doing, irrespective of political expediency, of, re, you know, of rewarding the wealthier schools. That's how the Labor Party invests in education. Uh, and, and if you look at the, the way that that money is being used in, in Morton, we see at Sunnybank State High School, where they've created a dynamic learning environment that is future focused on students. Corinda State School employs a maths coach to partner with teachers. Uh, we've got Kirby State School. Uh, they're doing Mother's Day and Father's Day schools. Uh, where they're trying to, to, to fund money, uh, to, to raise money so that they can invest in education. But we can never do enough fundraising. We can never do enough fundraising. As, as the deputy leader of the Labor Party said, we cannot cook enough sausages or make enough lamingtons. We must make a wise investment in education. Why? Not just because it makes teachers feel good, because it will boost productivity. It will make the economy hum. It will make us competitive with our Asian neighbours, who are not sitting you know, idly by and saying, gee, uh, education is not worth investing in. We know that our neighbours, those that we compete with, uh, are investing strongly in education. Now, schools in Morton uh, benefited from Gonski. Children in Morton benefited from that uh, boost in productivity, and it's a, a solid investment in egalitarianism. That's what it is. That's the sort of Australia the, the Labor Party believes in. By investing in education, you let our best and brightest come forward. And we can't afford to let that poor kid in the bush, that Indigenous kid, that kid with a, where English is a second language, that bright kid who, but for a little bit of help and support, could be our next leader, could be our next uh, uh, CEO of Apple or whatever it is. We must be investing in our brightest people, and we can only do that by investing in, in our schools appropriately, not by going back on an election promise, from flip-flopping on an election promise, from breaking an election promise to the Australian people. It was supposed to be a unity ticket. Why was it a unity ticket? Because it made sense. Yeah. Remember, Gonski was a banker that looked at economic advantage, 
not at what the, the teachers' unions wanted. Order.